Hello everybody, um, this is Cacti and Carnivores here, and today I'm going to be doing a second installment of the um, Venus Flytrap seed log. Um, last time we planted them, or looked at them, was the 22nd of, what is that, April, um, and now I'd like to show you that they have indeed sprouted um, rather early too. What is this? Um, from the 22nd of April to the 7th of May. That's about um, two or so weeks, two and a half, um, which is pretty early. Um, they were harvested. Um, they were pretty fresh when I got them, and I had them in the fridge ever since until I started to plant them. But as you can see, um, there's a couple little seedlings that you could are probably visible by now. Um, if you look here, there's this one in the center, right in the center right there. It's got two leaves, um, and it's still got the seed cap on. Um, and this was the first one to pop up. Um, it popped up on the 7th of March, which is why I marked that there. But as you can see, there's another, um, there's another a dash here. Um, and I'm going to leave a second date for when they all sprout, um, just because they don't all sprout at the same time, and it's best to have a little, like, um, pool of time. Like, they sprouted, the period of sprouting was about here to here, so I can more accurately so to represent their age um, and besides this one we got this other one right here let's see if I can get the toothpick to point hey, hey. sorry the camera's a little weird let's get this thing out of here uh, as you can see right here right right here um, and it's looking a little weird but it's still sprouting and looking green so I'll give it some time, it'll probably be better. Um, and this one right here, just just starting, oh, excuse me, um, just starting to show some green, um, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, the soil's held up pretty well, um, with all the humidity and some of the airflow. Um, I did wash it a couple times, so there's not as much algae as I expected there would be. Um, for the first couple of weeks, this was absolutely spotless, which I'm, I was glad for. Um, although I'm kind of sad there's a little bit of algae which is kind of annoying but other than that um, very little mold and nothing seems to be getting getting in the way so that's um, more than what I can say for some other seedling projects uh, this is pretty much just sphagnum moss now um, but anyways um, yeah aside from those three uh, that's probably the ones that are showing growth so far uh, but this seed right here, this one, I was looking, it's a little, it's just barely, sorry, it looks like it's just barely, barely putting out the, like, really newborn seedling roots. Um, it's going to be really hard to see on the camera, so I won't show it, but it's looking good there. And there's another one right here, if you can see it, hold on, I'll point it, there's like some, something right like up to the left right uh, upper right and that thing right there um, looked like a kind of a rotten seed that was kind of crushed and it looked like it tried to sprout but got all white um, so that's an odd little look into kind of a um, almost stunted seedling um, still trying to grow but I don't think I'll make it through um, it's not entirely bad though because we still got three successful seedlings here, um, and I'm glad they look good. They're growing well. Um, they sprouted pretty early, and they got a whole growing season ahead of them. Um, so yeah, they have officially sprouted. Um, yeah, so they're they're looking nice and good. Um, I'll post another update when they start producing traps or when anything interesting happens, um, uh, like interesting growth things or. Um, when they show another like stage of growth um, so yeah that's pretty much all the seeds have to offer right now um, and I'll see you guys later goodbye